ไปเลยหรอและ today I am here with a review video for The Diviners by Libba Bray. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely adored this book. So without further ado, let us get started. Set in 1926, this book follows a young 17-year-old who has an extraordinary gift. After an unfortunate event at a party, Evie O'Neill finds herself exiled from her hometown and being shipped off to live with her uncle Will, who is the head of the Museum for Creepy Crawlies. This museum focuses on everything creepy from the oculate to different artifacts from various points in history. When a body is discovered with a strange symbol carved into it, Evie's uncle Will is called to the murder scene and is asked to help solve the case. Evie decides that with her supernatural ability that nobody actually knows about, that she may be able to help the police and her uncle solve the murder case. The book also follows a boy named Memphis Campbell who is stuck between two worlds, a girl named Theta who is trying to run away from her past, and a young student named Jericho who is trying to keep a secret. So as I said, I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved every second of it. I actually listened to it on audiobook, which I think made it so much better. I think that the atmosphere that the voice actor created was so eerie and mysterious and just made the whole experience of the book so much better for me. I think if I had read the book as a physical copy and done it in my own voice, it wouldn't have been as exciting to me. I did find the pacing a little bit slow at times and I think that the book could have been a lot shorter so if I had read it myself I think that that would have annoyed me a lot more than it did. This was my first Libba Bray book and I was terrified to pick it up. I've had this on my shelf for like literally two years but there's so much hype around it that I was like I'm gonna hate it because I always end up hating books that other people love so I was like I'm not picking it up it's just gonna sit on my shelf and then I ended up getting the audiobook copy from my library and I was like you know what like we gonna do this and I did it and like no regrets. I thought that the writing style of this book was so mysterious and magical and just the whole concept of the diviners was so interesting to me. The writing style definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. There's a definite atmosphere that Libba Bray creates with her writing and you really felt that you were in the 1920s with Evie and all the other characters and just everything was so easily pictured in your mind because of it. I loved how each character's backstory was told and how their stories all ended up being interwoven by the end of the story. I think the plot was so immersive. You couldn't not read the book because you needed to know what was going to happen next with Evie and all the other characters. I felt instantly connected to every single character, even the secondary and minor characters. I just wanted to know their backstory and what it was that made them who they were. They were all so unique and it was so easy to tell whose point of view you were reading from. I definitely loved Evie as a main character. She was so sarcastic and witty and you could really tell that she cared for the people that she loved. She was very spoiled and selfish at times, but you definitely could tell that she cared about the people that she loved and she would do anything to help them. I really liked Sam Lloyd. His character was like the bad boy I guess you could say but he was a thief and a pickpocketer and he was just so much fun to read from his perspective. I really liked him. I really liked Jericho and I think that Jericho is very misunderstood so I liked knowing more about him in the end once you actually got his full backstory. I thought he was a very interesting character. Uncle Will was also great. I loved Memphis. I loved Theta. Just all the characters were so unique and amazing to me. They all had their own personality, which I really like. I also really, really, really... If you've been on this channel for a while, you know how much I like this. The romance was so put on the back burner to the mystery and magic of the story. It took literally until the end of the book for the romance to develop. Which I absolutely loved because you know I hate insta-love and I hate when it's literally you look at the person and you're like, I love you. 
it was such a slow burning romance that it just made the book so much better for me. I loved the mystery and magic of the book and I love the concept of the diviners. I need to find a copy of Layers of Dreams because I need to know what happens next with these characters. I'm so invested in this story, like I need to know what happens. If you have not read this book, read this book. I think that it would be a great book to read during like October because it's very mysterious and magical and there's a lot of gore in it, which I usually can't handle, but I don't know if it was because I listened to it on audiobook, I was okay with it. I don't know, but usually I'm like, oh god, no. But the murders are very gruesome. And it's described in the book, so if you're a little bit queasy, then maybe don't pick up the book or, like, go in with caution, but it's worth it. It's so entertaining, such a good book, highly recommend it. The biggest problem that I have with the book is that I'm left with so many dang questions once I finished it. I mean, there is a second book, so, like, it makes sense that I'm left with so many questions, but I'm just like, I need the second book now, but I don't have it, so, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm just supposed to sit here and be like, I don't know what happens to the characters, and I just want to know so badly. Overall, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Highly recommend this book. It's so good. I need to find the second book in the series, or I'm gonna die, but... Can we also take in how gorgeous this book is with the cover off? Like, huh, huh, look at that spine. Look at it. Look at it. I love it so much. Like, I kind of just want it to be without the dust jacket on, but I also really like it with the dust jacket on. So, like, dilemmas. Maybe I should just buy, like, another copy and then have, like, one with the dust jacket and one without. But we know that's not going to happen because you're girl cheap. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Diviners. Hopefully it convinced you to read the book. Probably not because I ramble pretty much the whole time. So, you know, I'm sorry that I'm not very, what's the word, like eloquent? That's not the word. Whatever the word is where you're like, know what you're talking about and sound smart, that's what I'm not. Sorry. Let me know down below if you've read this book, what you thought of it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!